Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing God of War, Ragnarok. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zarel. Let's get to it. Alright, so today we are talking with Odin. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. So Odin extended an invitation to us to come to Asgard, which we dismissed out of hand initially, uh, or I should say Atreus did, uh, or Kratos did, and Atreus went along with it. That's what actually happened. Uh, as we went along, we found ourselves in Asgard, uh, dropped in Lake, etc. If you haven't seen that, watch the last episode. And now we are traveling with Odin in a flock of ravens after talking with Thor and Heimdall with his famed Galahorn. So Odin uh, so far seems very accepting of everything. He says, hey, you know, you talked to my ex-wife and my ex-employee, uh, Tyr, so... It's not like you had an unbiased opinion coming into this, so it's appreciated. You can see the uh, a couple Valkyries down there with some Einhin, Einhinar, something like that. Einies, as we call them. And Odin's a little bit miffed about uh, us. Kratos and Atreus releasing Tyr, uh, but he said, hey, you know, you spent time with him, so that is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> There's a new, even though we defeated the Queen of the Valkyries in the last game, there is already a new queen. So it's interesting that it's not um, static. Not like with a, a god, if someone defeats uh, Thor or, you know, uh, Modi, then no one really takes their place, per se. Um, but you just you keep going. Now, he's giving them a little head jolt. He said that they come kind of fuzzy out of Valhalla, so he's giving them a little, a little help. Give them their own uniqueness so they're not just uh, zombies. All right. So Flock of Ravens. Bringing him directly to where he wants to go. I mean, within, I would say, a couple feet. So uh, very interesting how it works. A little bit differently for Odin versus how it worked for us. Now this is neat. This is a, a longhouse like you would see uh, some of the Norse or, or Vikings using way back in in the day. <laughs> is that Braze? That looks good. That's funny. I mean, in, in this light, Odin looks just like, uh, you know, just some like some boss walking around. Checking everything out, being like, "Hey, how you doing? How's it going? How's the wife and kids?" So, I think it will be very easy for Atreus to be lulled into a sense of uh, false security. He's like, "Feel free to come and go. You're not my prisoner." And he even says he's not uh, Atreus' father. He's obviously been watching very closely. We know that his ravens are out in the realms, uh, not in the realm between realms, probably. But, uh, you know, he's obviously been watching, but not just watching, like, what we're doing uh, as a, a tactical, you know, general, per se, but he's looking... As a leader, 
and how that information could help him, uh, you know, maybe sway things in his favor. Now, obviously, uh, Sif is not very happy that we're around. Uh, as, as was Heimdall. Heimdall is going to toss us out uh, violently. All right, so we're going to... Apparently, this is Svartalheim. And uh, so the, the realm of the dwarves. Uh, we see Durlin. There is a spark of recognition. Uh, did Odin notice? Probably. Uh, if nothing else, Odin is very perceptive. And the dwarves are creating weapons. So I'm not sure how to take this. So coming into this, you would you would think that Odin was bad news. He comes and he starts talking, just like hey, everyday kind of banter and talking, and you know this is all just normal. Uh, but then come and see the uh, the dwarves building war machines for him. And you have to wonder what the uh, what the end game is, even if he's not uh, talking about the immediate future. At some point in the future, he's planning on using them. After all, when you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. All right, so we got the uh, oh, the nickel and dime tour. He's like, here, you can stay here in this room, get a change of clothes, you know, we got some books that you can read, and, uh, you know, come uh, come to the study when you want answers, because I'll, I'll give you answers. So, um, these wardrobes are acting as a... Uh, both treasure chest and forge. Whoa, I can use this. We can get upgrades here, uh, plus whatever we're being given at the time. So we'll take a look. Uh, obviously, we're going to create the Acer bow uh, while we're able to. Because once we start this, who knows when we're going to get back. Uh, to anywhere where we can make an upgrade. So better to go ahead and, and do the upgrades now than uh, wait till later. So all this stuff, uh, basically when you have that ability to upgrade, you probably should. And then uh, at any time, you know, crafting and upgrades uh, when it when you're able to do it, and then whenever you need it or switch to it, you can do that on the fly. So uh, luckily you don't have to come back to one of these sections in order to change your your armor or weapons. Aesir woman. My brothers. Your brother. The hair. It uh, reminds me a lot of uh, that Disney Pixar movie, Brave, except instead of a uh, bow, she's got a big cleaver sword, I suppose. It looks a bit like a cleaver, though. I know, I'm, I'm gone cleaver crazy. So we actually got Modi's old room, which uh, there's a lot of history between Atreus and Modi. Uh, well, actually, not a lot of her history, but uh, bad blood, certainly, uh, as Modi's killer. And uh, Kratos, of course, wanted to prevent that sort of problem. <laughs> Just like when he tried to open the chest the first time. Almost broke his hand. Uh, will clean that up. Her uh, animal skin dress is very distracting 
dress is it a dress a tire on the lower half of her body it's new one of a kind my father gave it to me for valkyrie training it's got metal rings on it got time to talk about it i was just heading to the great hall but and it's just it's a it's a lot uh given like and it doesn't go like the bottom half and the top half are all like separately great but together it, it it's a lot i think but what do i know anyway uh so we can go to see odin or we can kind of look around maybe we'll look around for a minute before we uh go any farther along the path uh, the path of course is what is called the uh, the main campaign the little side quests are called favors but uh most of the time i'll just call it what it is a whole bunch of valkyries what where promise to tell me everything i promise it's kind of nice to see some of the major players after the last game where you uh, mainly saw minor players in terms of you know the norse mythology what his father did you understand who that is right You know, I almost thought that was, it kind of looks like her hair. I'm, I'm still not sure if it is or not. Yeah. The longhouse, I like the longhouse. It looks really neat. Right? <laughs> Mom's right. Um, yeah. I think we'll probably... Can move on. Listen, whatever grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. So third, third, oh, yeah, is Thor's daughter, and Thor is Odin's son, so grandchild in the terms in the scheme of godhood, family tree. <laughs> you know, it sounds like Odin is, you know, in an office talking to someone, a co-worker or even a subordinate. Yeah, you see me nodding? Yes, I understand. What's weird is that uh, Atreus can, you know, hear and listen to animals, but the ravens he cannot understand. So Odin can understand, but he cannot. So Odin's kind of busy, and we're going to look around a little bit, grab the scroll. I was just looking at this. I don't think. I've had that since. Huh. Who can remember? Almost looks like a feather. <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? <laughs> sure, Ingrid. Sure, why not? <laughs> Take it if you like it that much. Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. Yeah, what exactly is this job that you're wanting Loki for, Atreus? The godling of many names. And Ingrid's been holed up in Odin's study for who knows how long, if he doesn't remember. And I, you know, you always have to take it with a pinch of, of salt. Like, oh, it's been there for so long. Could have been there for two days. And he just didn't want to say where it was actually from. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. So... Could have been Baldur's sword for all we know. I don't think so, but you know what I'm saying. So now we're going into the, his secret, secret study. I mean, this is definitely, looks like a study, but it's 
you know, dug into the rock. Underground, and definitely not meant to be seen by everyone. What is it? It's what drives me. Kind of looks like a feather. Floating in the air. But the closer we get to it, uh, well, it still kind of looks like a feather, but I think it's like a, a cut or a scar or a small opening. Almost like the uh, the Matrix where you have like the veil, the veil between the real, the real world and the fake world. So it's like, hey, we're going to figure this out together. And then it starts glowing when he touches it. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. And that's how he lost his eye. I don't think that's uh, Norse mythology canon, how uh, Odin lost his eye. I think he was, his eye is around uh, the realms, kind of watching for him. These aren't from the nine realms. If I remember right. And can I say that Odin here looks a lot different than I would have thought he would have looked. Uh, I would have thought he would have looked more uh, old warrior wise, knowledgeable, but still warrior like. Whereas uh, here he looks like, yeah, maybe he was a ship's captain or something long, long ago, but uh, but now he's he's mostly you know a scholar. Or someone who's trying to gain information rather than gain, you know, muscle mass. I would have thought he would have been more, uh, more of a wise uh, tactician or, you know, a general rather than how he appears here. But, geez, Thor. The stealthy side of beef. He's more than a side of beef. He's a whole hawk. Whole hock of beef. Alright. Go easy on him, Thor. Uh, what exactly does that mean? And will Thor comply? I mean, so far... I mean, Thor, he still has that, that cut where Kratos uh, gave it to him along his his abdomen. But he still looks like a grease ball. So, where are we going? What the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> he is so much, so much the uh, the tavern brawler that I that I thought he was. All right, so this mask or piece of a mask like is rock. supposed to tell us where to go. So it's kind of a a weird version of, of hot cold. With those on. Starts glowing in when you're turned in the direction that you're supposed to go. Ah, uh, Ingrid. It's always nice to have. Uh, so Ingrid is the companion. For Atreus, even though Thor is standing right there. Oh, nice move. I mean, eh, Ingrid is pretty cool. A uh, sentient sword. I mean, what's not to like? I always do stun grabs because uh, uh, I got used to doing it with uh, uh, Kratos. And Kratos is just, uh, the way I have him set up anyway, he gets health on, on stun grabs, and there's nothing wrong with that. Alright, so it's got, it's got to be this direction over here somewhere. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we 
too slow. Hey. Oop. <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. Yeah. Tell them. Throw you. Throw <laughs> you. The day is young. Uh, more of them. The, uh, whoop. That was close. Another one? There. At least they can't hit me when I'm in a stun grab. One guy up there just taking pot shots. There, got him. Ooh, there, he's stunned. Thor actually helped with that one. You can see the, the thunder. I know a lot of people kind of uh, put thunder and lightning together and, you know, Thor's got a thunder, which is sound, and uh, we always see Thor with uh, lightning. A little bit of Hexilver and a health gem, which we don't need, at least not at the moment. Oh, crafting components, I'll take it. Man, the, just the, the atmosphere of Muspelheim is fantastic. It's got to be over here. Where this gate has fallen in. Hey, can you? <laughs> Trot over here and use your hammer to knock it down. That's one of those pieces you hit it with uh, the ice or maybe fire. Definitely ice. Oh, speaking of fire, hit that with the uh, Blades of Chaos when we come back and then whatever that is, we'll need to get a little bit farther before we can figure that one out. Yeah. Yeah, Thor is talking about blood debt between... Atreus and Kratos and himself, and he's already taken the blood debt from Kratos, but he's not taking it from him. And then Atreus is like, hey, what about the giants? All those giants you killed? You're half giant, so what's what's up with that? Well, he's thrown his lot in with, for better or worse, with uh, Odin. And it it feels like he's not always happy about it. But we'll see. And now we're working together with Thor. Uh, so maybe we could put that all behind us. Or not. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. <laughs> Modi had some problems, but he was still my son. Yikes. Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Yeah, we just have to work together. We don't have to be friends. Trust. Trust. Dude, Thor is just like that that uncle that you just didn't like. Like he was trying a little bit too hard to be cool. <laughs> but he was really just a jerk. So, because unlike, um, you know, Ingrid, Thor is just kind of, he kind of helps where he wants to when he lets you do the rest. He's like, well, you know, I could take all these guys out if I wanted to, but, uh, you know, I'm going to let you squirm a bit. Oh, that's a heavy. Ooh, good parry. Oh, I got hit. Why didn't he shoot Thor? Don't attack me. Attack Thor. He's a big, meaty target. Oh, and then he smashed. Dude, I had him. You left me to attack the uh, Tatzel Worm. 
where's the mass say to go? Like he wants to just get it over with. Like get it. Let's go. I don't want to be here with you any longer than I absolutely have to be. The mask is uh pulling this way. We'll have to find some. We'll have to find a way down. I wasn't playing you, by the way. I wasn't playing you, by the way. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. Hey, come look. hey, come look at this, Thor said. Uh, never. Thor, what the? Uh, get your big ham hocks off me. Wait, shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? Molten lowlands. Lot more lava. Around here. But I was thinking, well, that's your problem. <laughs> that's your problem, you think. So I think that was all enemies that he just wiped out by belly flopping and but more of them showed up. Shield. Got a shield bash him. Bow bash? I don't know. Oof. Now there's a big old giant that we gotta deal with. <laughs> and the runic tech did basically nothing. We got a few guys to. Uh, he did a lightning strike. There's more guys. Just like never ends. Ooh, there we go. All two of them. The heck? Oop, get out of the way. Oh, uh, nope. Not fast enough. There we go. Get this guy. And we got one more guy to deal with. Plus the, uh, is that an ogre? There. It still took Thor a little bit to take that guy down, so. The Allfather's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. All right, got a runic summon out of it. Yes, sir. He's like, stay here. Basically, he throws the hammer and then calls himself to the hammer. Or the hammer calls him. I don't know. All right, so now is our chance to uh, check out the shrine without having someone looking over our shoulder. Well, probably. I say probably because who knows who else is watching uh, now that basically everyone in Asgard that has it out for the Giants knows that, uh, you know, Loki Atreus is, is there. So. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in this barn. It was like forever ago. You know, it's weird that this uh, chest is already open. It's almost like they're trying to say that we've been here before, but I feel like uh, we have not. All right, so that's back the way we came. If we drop down here, there we go. Here's the shrine. And the shrine's just right over here. Oop, and 
Enemies? Yes, enemies. Oh. How'd he get in on top of me? It's like he uh, he teleported. Alright, so... Ah, and there's a monster generator in the back there. Well, I just have to hit it with arrows until it falls. There we go. And that took care of any monsters still lying about. Alright, so let's grab this before we check out the mural. That was a great jump scare. Uh, so Anger Boda seems in a much better mood than uh, when we left. She was very uh, just, you know, do downtrodden and and uh, depressed. Because of everything that happened between uh, her and Loki and her and her her grandmother and like all the combination of things that uh, transpired while Loki was in Ironwood. So this uh, turnabout is relatively quick, I would say, because uh, Ironwood time actually travels faster there than it does out in the Nine Realms. So even though we were only there what seemed like a couple of hours, uh, we were actually there for about two days. So, and she even said, she's like, you've been gone longer than you think. I mean, it has to be that whole time dilation, right? Yeah, she seems to have come to terms, or partially at least, with what's been going on. Hello there. Uh, we'll have to see for sure. Huh. Another marble. Surders. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. <laughs> so he's still out there somewhere. You talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. I wonder what lands they've, I gone, to. What lands they've gone to, what seas they've crossed, and why. why? I mean, yeah, everyone wants to know. I'm gonna save my father, and then I'll find them. Uh, including Thor, because Thor is, Who is that? Uh, bent on, I think, killing all the giants. Uh, pure blood giants. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it wasn't. It just stopped. Yeah, now we have Suter oh, no, and no, no. another giant together. that they've not heard of. Looks like they even became friends. Fighting each other and then uh, fighting uh, a common enemy and then yeah. becoming best they friends, oh, well, that's as they say. Good for them. But it looks like they're <laughs> good for them. Love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. Combined. And then, Ragnarok like a Megazord. Right. I saw that in and then Shrine. destroy Asgard. Oh, that was something. Huh. Oh, hey. Remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting. Yeah. Which, uh. Like I don't remember. I don't normal. know that. I don't remember yeah. which soul was put into that. the. The snake. I'm gonna hang back here. I'd have to go back and look. Friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just be careful. Yeah. Don't want Thor seeing another giant to squash. Certainly not her. Hey Ingrid. I think Thor died from Resume the search. Alright. All right, so he's still at it, or 
maybe just finishing the trial? We'll have to see. Hopefully, he's not realized we've been gone. Or at least hasn't realized the extent of... Mountains of corpses by the time <laughs> there are mountains of corpses. Lava ran red with their blood. Isn't lava already red? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father do it? Jeez. He is such a jerk. <laughs> And uh, I know he's got at least some cause, but honestly. Oop, fireball. This guy just sitting in the back, taking pot shots. There we go. Oof, didn't see that one coming. And there we go. Believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. Oof. Ah, oh, more. <laughs> A neat little trick. She'd be faring better than you, at least. Wow. Well, she's she's a lot of uh, muscle too, like her father. I forget what my runic attack is. So whenever you update your runic attacks, make sure you know what you're... Or after a while. Ooh, level 5. That's not good. These guys are hardcore. Oh, finally you help. Seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. Dude, don't twist my words. You're not a wordsmith. Let me check. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Your name's just one word. I know it's not. Thor Odinson. You are a god. You're damn right. You are a god. You're damn right. Don't you forget it. All right, we got to be close to this thing. And how are we going to get it wherever it's at? Is it in a chest? Probably not. In the lava? I don't know. In the lava? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, it's coming to us. Oof. It came to us. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. Yeah, what you think? It? Good. It's better that way. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're, you're an okay giant. kid, but you're still a giant. Yikes. What did you do? Loki. The rift got brighter. Look, we did it. Look, one of these hmm. erases is complete now. We can read so, it. So, however, that's tied with the rift. See, I got a little theory. I There's a whole wooden suit for you to wear. Use it to look into that. Without, you know, got a long ways to go before you can turn that into a door. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? We make a good Don't team. We? A good damn team. Odin and Loki. Oof, just like you and Balder. That's a low blow. Or was really great. I learned a lot, I from, learned a lot him. from him. Something from him. Really? Oof. <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? That's pretty. Nothing. Pretty bad. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah. <gasps> So he comes off. Odin tries to come off as an okay guy, but even that little exchange between him and Thor 
really puts things, I think, into perspective. Like, he's trying to come off as an okay guy, but you look a little bit deeper and you realize something else is going on. He's being nice to you because he wants something and you're the only one that can do it. Take this. So he will bend over backwards to get it from you. Uh, that's my take on it anyway. We'll see what actually happens. We got, uh, what, half of a mask? Two thirds of a mask now? How much of it do we actually need? Uh, and how many pieces are there, et cetera, et cetera, we'll, we'll have to see. I'm sure we'll get to that at some point. It's kind of weird having that thing just kind of hanging in the air. Well, we'll uh, grab some loot from this secret study, see what's hanging around down here, and wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Isn't that a Greek instrument? I wonder if Tyr brought that back. Skull and Hati. Panda want one of these. Huh. Dragon skull in the library. No big deal. You're back. How was it? Did Father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from Grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All Father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. You're not really. Did you think that I would be? Well, I'm, it's pretty good sword. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here.